Part of making your work become more manageable with all the open windows including your files, folders, and other programs, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate all those open windows. For example, I've got my computer window here, the computer folder, in a window that I can see the contents of that folder. And then behind that I have the C drive and you can see down below on the taskbar I have the corresponding buttons, one for the computer window and one for the C drive window. So first of all, if I come up here and click on the header bar for the computer window, it makes that window active. And then over to the far right of the window, I have three buttons. When I hover over the first one, it says minimize. If I go ahead and click on it, it takes the window and minimizes it down or shrinks it down to the task bar. If I want to go ahead and restore it, just click on the button and it restores it. Now, aside from the minimize button here, if this window is already open, if I just come down here and click on the button, that also will minimize the open window. Click on it again to restore it. Next, the middle button, when you hover over it, says maximize. When I click on it, it takes that window and fills the whole screen here. And then notice when I hover back over that same middle button, the icon has changed, also the text. Instead of maximize, because we can't maximize any wider or bigger than the size of our screen here, let me go back off and hover back over it again. It says restore down. Click on it, and it restores it back to its original size. And then, of course, to the far right, you have the X. If you click on it, it'll actually close out of the window here. Now, how about a few shortcuts? If you have this window open and it fills up your whole screen and your mouse is way over to the left side of the screen and you want to close out of your window here, one of the things you can do is just move over to the left side of the header bar here of that open window and give it a right click. When you right click on it, you get the same options, minimize, maximize. So I can left click on minimize. It pushes it down or shrinks it down to the task bar. Click on it again to restore it. And then when I come back up here, right click again, you get the other options, the least of which is close. Let me click off in a blank area on the header bar here. You can also double click really fast in the upper left hand corner. Double click and it closes. If I want to open it back up, it's the computer. Double click on that, it's back open. Now if I come over here somewhere in the middle of the header bar and double click, it'll do a maximize. Double click, fills up the whole screen. Come up here anywhere in the middle of the header bar and double click again. It restores it down to its original size. So those are some of the shortcuts there. Now, down on the taskbar, you have these buttons, right? You can actually move them around just by clicking and dragging them. For example, if I click on the C drive, notice how the computer comes with it, that button, because they're similar programs. In this case, they're both folders. So if I move them around, I can move them to the far left of my taskbar here. If I'm usually working on the left side of my screen here, or I can click and, and drag them way over to the to these other programs on my taskbar. Now, instead of having maximize to make this window fill the full screen or just have it the default size here, if I want the window somewhere in between as far as the size goes, just hover over any one of the four borders of the window until your pointer turns into two arrows pointing in opposite directions. When you see it, go ahead and hold down your left mouse button, click and drag to stretch the window up either vertically or come to the side and click and drag to stretch it horizontally or go to the corner, click and drag to stretch it both horizontally and vertically. And notice that when I stretch it, I can resize the window here, but if I go ahead and click and resize it and push it back in to where I can't see part of the contents there in the window, there's too much of it to fit in this tiny little window, then what happens is the window gives us little scroll bars. You see this little bar here? I can either click and drag it to scroll horizontally here to be able to see all the rest of the content within that tiny little window, or you can click on these little arrows here to scroll incrementally. But if you have a huge window and you got a lot of items, for me, it's a lot faster to click and drag and slide this thing really fast than to sit here and click one little click at a time, okay? So if you can't see all the contents within this little window of the screen or you have a big screen or you maximize the window, double click up here in the uh, header bar and it fills the full screen, but you got so much content within the screen and it can't fit at all within the size of your monitor here, then you'll get the scroll bars. You can scroll back and forth and be able to view the rest of the folders and files within that window. I'm going to come back up here and click on the middle button to restore it back down to its original shape. Now if I go ahead and I close out of here and I double click and open the computer back up, it remembers its last settings here, which was this size. If I don't like that, then go ahead and hover over one of the borders there and click and drag it until you get a a nice little size. And then of course when I close back out and open it back up, it'll remember this size, okay? 
Now, in an earlier training video, I showed you how to move your windows around. For example, if you come up here and you click and you hold down your left mouse button on the header bar of the window, click and drag, you can move your window around wherever you want. And then I can come over here, click on that window to make it active and bring it to the front, and then click and drag the header bar of that window so I can see them side by side and compare them. Now there's another way to be able to compare your windows side by side, or instead of side by side, have one up here and one down below. And that's coming down here on your taskbar and right clicking in a blank area and you get these options. Let's go ahead and do cascade first. When you click on it, what it does is it takes the windows and cascades them. In other words, you got part of one window, you can see the header bar, part of the next window. Then if I had a second, third, fourth, or fifth, it would do it in a little cascading effect here, okay? I can come back down here, right click on the uh, blank area of the taskbar, and let's show the windows stacked, one on top of another, not overlaid, but one up here on top of the one down below it, okay? So you can view them one on top of another or right click on the uh, taskbar and come up here and say you want to see them side by side. So you see how it takes the windows that you have open and makes them fit equally the portion of the screen. So if I had three or four windows open, well, these two windows would become a lot smaller to make room for the other two so I could have a total of four that I could see side by side or stacked. And then last but not least, when you right click on the taskbar, you can undo side by side and it reverts it back to stacked, and then I can right click on it again, and it doesn't give me any more undos, but I can come up here and show the desktop when I click on it. It minimizes all the open windows down to the taskbar and reveals the desktop, just like that vertical rectangle over here to the far right of the taskbar, as we just covered in the previous training video. Click on it, and it will also show the desktop. So either click on that or right click in a blank area on the taskbar, especially if you have one of those widescreen monitors and you do not want to go all the way over to the far right of the screen here. Just go ahead and right click in a blank area and then come up here. Of course it doesn't say show desktop, it says show open windows because they were already minimized. So it restores them. Now when I go ahead and I close out of a window here like the computer and I come up here and I click and drag the header bar of the C drive and move it to the side so I can go ahead and double click on the computer. Now remember, that was the last setting or size of my window, so it stays like that, which I don't like it. So I can, again, hover over the border, get my little pointer, and then click and drag to resize it accordingly. So if you use those features down there in the taskbar to cascade, stack, or side by side, then when you're done, you may have to do a little resizing if you don't want them stacked or sized like that by default. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.